Good morning, everyone. It's the last day of the year. It's December 31st, and I'm checking my PO box. See if I've gotten nothing in there. Let's check the other one. Nothing in there. Oh well. I just mailed off a little mailer and I checked my PO boxes. Some people have asked, why do I have two? I have one for my Wing Moms organization and then I have one for our Grey House stuff. So, yeah, both were empty then. But that's okay. Now I'm off to get my rings checked for the warranty and then I'm going to uh, drop off a little gift card for Janet if she's there at the salon. And then I'm going to try to meet the builder at one to meet the trim guy just to kind of see what they're going to talk about. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in JCPenney's now, and I just stopped by to see if Janet was working. She's not. I was going to give her her uh, Christmas card. So now I'm just browsing because I absolutely do not need anything. But I like to look. But really, I need to go on and get my rings inspected, get that done, check that off the list, so I can make sure I meet my builder in time. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's like ridiculously cute. And then look at those pants. Too cute. I'm inside Charming Charlie. And as I stated before, I don't need a thing. But I like Charming Charlie. And I like their clothes. So, so in order to look plus they're having a sale. So buy one, get one free on the clearance. Plus if you spend $40, they'll give you 10 more dollars off. So I'm like, wait, what? That might be worth exploring. Look at this super cute little backpack purse. That's so cute. Now I can't get it back. There we go. And that's cute. And that's pretty much true. Good. How about you? Vlogging. Okay. <laughs> You got some cute cat stuff. Well, thank you. Mm. Oh, look, guys, look at this one. Cat mom, and it's gray. It's $15, though. Oh, well. I don't really wear hats. That's cute. Cat mom. And all. You're perfect. That's cute. And remember, we needed measuring spoons. These are, like, really cute, but just not really practical, because I think they'd break. But, and plus, I don't know if like this would wear off, and that's what we have the problem with now. They wore off our other set of measuring spoons. We don't know which size is which size. I mean, obviously we know the bigger one's the tablespoon, but still. I don't wear contacts, but how cute are these? That's the dog mom side. Cats make me happy, you not so much. More cat stuff. People saw that I was filming them and they still like walked right where I was. <laughs> this one says, I don't like morning people or mornings or people. <laughs> That's funny. That's a koozie cover. Spoon rest, I guess. Those are cute. It's not drinking alone if the cat is home. And here's some more of those little measuring spoons. Like I said, they're super cute. I just think it would break. Oh, a little, I guess, pill container. Yeah. That's cute, though. Cat mom. And inside is maybe a mirror? Oh yeah, mirror. Time spent with cats is never wasted. Oh. They're like journals. Those are journals and they're super cute too. Don't stress me out. I need to go get my rings clean because it's getting later and I didn't find anything I needed anyway, so let's go on to the next day. Rings checked out fine, nothing was loose. They were cleaned, and now I'm gonna head to the house to meet the builder. I just stopped at Dollar General. I'm trying to balance 
here because it's muddy right next to me. Anyways, I just stopped at Dollar General to see what they had on Christmas clearance. They didn't really have anything. I had a couple things, but I, I still don't know. Yeah, I don't need. I didn't need them. Basically, the bottom line is I didn't need it. So now I'm going to Chicken Express because Marvin wants two piece white with mashed potatoes, extra gravy, and coleslaw. Hello everyone, we're at Floor and Decor now. We're gonna check out some flooring options for the new house. Doing a Christmas shopping, see I got a candy. What we're trying to find is tile that looks like wood flooring. And so far we haven't really come across anything that's caught our eye. We did see some like marble tile, maybe for the bathroom. But yeah, just a lot to look at. And there's not really enough people here to help you find what you're looking for. This is pretty, but then when you look at, then when you look at that, it just looks like a little dark in that picture for me. This one, this one is a little too white, but in the picture, it shows up a little grayer. This one's just a little too black gray. Kind of like that one. But again, when you look at the picture, then it's like, it says with Lexington blue. So maybe it's got another tile on there too. Oh yeah, it's got that mixed in with that one and that's why it's giving it that contrast look right there those are pretty that's pretty we've been given a budget of 350 per yard i think i'm not really sure i'm just looking at the paper we just kind of wanted to get an idea of the things that we liked to start with that's pretty but it's too brown it's too wide we want it to look more like an actual piece of like wood. I like this one. I like that one too. Okay, so far this is Marvin's number one choice. I think it's pretty. Oh, that's our builder texting us. Now guys, we are at Lowe's because we're gonna look at ceiling fans. We're gonna look at some door handles and knobs and stuff. And I don't know what else. We have to choose lighting for over the vanities. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom. We have a master bath. So our builder is suggesting that we get a three bulb light, kind of like, well, not this one, but I'll show you what he's talking about. One with three lights, just like that. But of course, in the style that we want. So I'm not really sure where more fixtures are. Maybe over in the lighting area. Hmm. That would be convenient and appropriate. But anyway, uh, that's what we're looking at now. We have to have one outdoor fan for the back patio. And then of course, indoor fans for the rest of the house. So many choices. We have to get some ceiling fans for our current house so that when we get to sell it, when we get it ready for sale, it's gonna have a good fan in there because right now the extra rooms don't have anything. And obviously there are more options for lighting than I just saw, so. We're trying to make as many decisions now or at least narrow down the field as much as we can right now. So when it comes time to make the final decision, we're not like waffling back and forth. We'll, we'll have a really good idea of what we're wanting. Okay, I kind of like these because it has like a vintage look about it and it has an Edison bulb in it, but it's not the yellow Edison bulb. So I kind of like that. They really want to close down here. This is about the 12th announcement they've made that, hey, we're closing, hey, we're closing. And it's like, okay, we get it, you are closing. I know you got a party to go to probably, but calm down, we're gonna leave. This guy sure looks pretty tonight. And this guy looks handsome. It's 11.40, so 
that just 21 minutes till 2019 in Texas. Actually, that's not true. Part, most of Texas, because part of Texas is on mountain time. So I'm um, central time zone, and so in 20 minutes, it'll be 2019 here. And yeah, you can see, let's see if we're waiting on a replacement for the faucet. And I've got stuff over here that I'm packing. And I can't find our, I think I already packed the champagne glasses, so I'm gonna pour us some wine instead. And I am pouring us our favorite Stella Rosa Moscato di Asti. It is our current favorite and the one we've been drinking when we drink wine, if we can. You can get it at Costco just a little bit cheaper, but they also have it at Tom Thumb, so it's close by. And yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't say I don't make resolutions because I do. I have like goals for myself, but um, one friend wrote on her wall on Facebook something about like instead of making like a list of things you're taking away for 2019, like make a list of things you're adding to 2019 to make 2019 more fulfilling. So I thought that was a good approach to it. Not sure if I'm gonna apply that, but I just thought that was an interesting perspective. My hair has a ton of electricity and I look a little washed out here. It's okay. I am pale, but look, I don't know. I look it's a little bit better, not, not really, I don't know. I have a very warm toned kitchen because I have maple cabinets and they're stained and um, the walls are Churchill wheat or something it's called. So anyway, very warm tones in this house. In the new house, it's gonna be gray, white tones, blue tones. So uh, a much cooler palette. So that had nothing to do with the static electricity in my hair though. But I was just saying like, in looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, uh, in the mirror, in the view, I'm like, whoa, it looks kind of, I don't know. But anyway, I wish you and yours from my heart and home to yours a happy and blessed and amazing 2019. I hope that all your dreams come true. I hope that you're abundantly blessed and somebody's hungry. He's hungry, so. I'm gonna make 2019 completely awesome. And I thank you for following along on our Gray House vlogs and look for more vlogs and videos to come. We're gonna be doing some more challenge videos this coming year. We're gonna be incorporating Carrie and Gavin. They don't know it yet, but they're gonna be in the videos. We're just gonna do some fun, uh, fun, stuff, this, fun stuff this year. So stay tuned and uh, we'll toast you in just a minute. Hey guys, we're about to do the toast. We have 23 seconds left in 2018. It's been a great year. Thanks for joining us on our daily vlogs. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And four, three, two, one. Well, that probably won't make it in the vlog. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy New Year. See Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. Bye. Bye.